Welcome to this lesson on compound inequalities. A compound inequality is a set of two or more inequalities that are separated by the word and or the word or. Okay, so the and, the or, those are called joining words. So let's look at examples of both of those. So the first one is joined by the word or. So when you have that, you solve the two inequalities as separate inequalities, and you're going to get two solutions at the end. So I'm going to solve the left one, just solving like a normal inequality. Subtract one from both sides, and then divide by three on both sides. X is less than two. All right, let's solve the next one. by 2, divide by 2, x is greater than or equal to 3. So the solution to this compound inequality is x is less than 2 or it's greater than or equal to 3. So it has two different solutions. So to graph that, let's start with x is less than 2. All right, so I'm just going to write, I'm going to put 2 and 3 kind of in the middle and then go up and down from there. So less than two, that's an open circle, and then shade to the left. Make sure to include the arrow because it goes forever in the negative direction. Or x could also be greater than or equal to three. So that's a closed circle to the right. So basically everything that I shaded would make this compound inequality true. Basically, these numbers in here, in between 2 and 3, would not make it true. Alright, so that's an OR example. Let's look at an AND example. So, you see on the OR problem, you actually see the word OR. For AND compound inequalities, you don't usually see the word, unless it's like a maybe a word problem. With AND inequalities, they're just joined together, so you may see something in the middle, and then they're joined together by two inequality signs, an expression is. So to solve these, I'm going to start with the expression in the middle of the inequality signs. And I'm going to isolate x. So I'm going to add 8. And I'm going to add it to the right and to the left. So this cancels. And I have 3x. And on the right, I have 18. I'm just bringing the inequality symbols down. On the left, negative 2 plus 8, that's 6. And then I'm going to divide by 3 in the middle, on the right, and on the left. So it's kind of like an equation. You're keeping it balanced, except it's an inequality with two sides. All right, so that cancels. So I have x left in the middle, isolated like I wanted it to be. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay, so to graph, let's see. I'm going to put, make sure I have both of those numbers, 2 and 6, on my number line. All right, so both of these are closed. Now, when you graph and compound inequalities, you're going to actually shade in the middle. For the OR, you see we shaded in opposite directions. For AND, we're going to shade in the middle because if you read this, it's really saying, all right, X is less than or equal to 6. And then if you read this one, if I reverse this, X is greater than or equal to 2. So I'm shading above 2, but less than 6, which means I'm shading in the middle. All right, let's try some more examples. Okay, on number one, so this is an AND inequality. So I'm going to subtract 4 from the right and from the left. All right, 13 minus 4 is 9. Negative 5 minus negative 4 is negative 9. And notice I'm just bringing the symbols down. And then I'm going to divide by 3. Okay. 
All right, so to graph that, let's see, I'm gonna put negative three here to make sure I can fit all the way up to positive three. So closed circle here, open circle on three. And I'm shading in the middle because this is an and compound inequality. All right, number two, the weights of a wrestling, the wrestling team are either below 150 or greater than or equal to 175. So this is a word problem and we just want to write it as an a compound inequality. So the weights are what we are talking about, the x, our variable. And this is an or, so I'm going to have two different inequality statements. So they're either below, that means less than 150, or greater than or equal to 175. Okay, so let's graph that. I'm going to start with 150 down here. And let's see, I probably need to count by 5 so I can make it all the way up to 175. Okay, so less than 150. Open circle because it's less than. Greater than or equal to 175. Close circle. All right, number three, this is an or. So I'm just gonna solve them separately. So divide by five, divide by five. On the second one, I'm gonna subtract one first. Divide by negative three, divide by negative three. And remember when you divide by a negative, even on compound inequalities, you reverse the sign. All right, so let's see. Make sure I can fit both of those in there. So greater than or equal to negative one or less than negative five. Open circle at negative five. All right, next one. This is an and compound inequality. So I'm going to add one first to the left and the right. And then to get rid of that divided by three, I'm gonna multiply by three in the middle, on the left, and on the right. So three times three is nine. Oops. Okay, so let's see. So open circle at 9, close circle at 15, and I'm shading in the middle here because this is an and compound inequality. All right, pause the video and try 5 and 6 by yourself. All right, number 5. A doctor tells you to keep your daily calorie intake above 1,500 and less than or equal to 2,000. So this and tells you it's an and inequality. So my x is going to be in the middle. I want to be a less than or equal to 2,000. Your bigger number goes on the right because it's greater than. Or above 1,500. Not equal to or greater, just greater than. All right, so let's see. I'm going to count by hundreds here. I have to write these slanted so they'll fit. Okay, so close circle on 2,000, open circle on 1,500, and we want to keep our calorie intake somewhere in between those two numbers. All right, and then the last one, let's see, we should have added two to both sides. And then I can multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of that one half. Two times one half, that's one, so one x. x is less than or equal to 10. Add three to both sides. Divide by two. All right, so let's see. So open circle at 14, going to the right, greater than 14. Close circle at 10, less than or equal to 10. 
Okay, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete the practice.